Okay guys, so I'm back at you with another video. So today, um, it's going to be a little windy. Well, actually it's going to be a lot windy. There's a big storm coming in tonight. And it's a massive storm, a massive weather system that's going across Texas right now. As a matter of fact, the wind just came in. You can hear it. It just came in, guys. You can see, let me see if I can show you the trees. Oh, yeah, you can hear the thunder, guys. Let's see if it'll get to lightning here. Um, well, this is going to be an interesting video tonight. I can tell you that. Um, yeah, the wind just came in, guys. It's blowing like crazy. And I got my pit on right here. Uh, yeah, I feel the wind coming in now. Oh, it's going to be crazy. Yeah, the water's coming in. We're going to see how crazy this is about to get. Um, I can see the porch getting wet. Um, I am making a video, but I don't know how it's gonna go guys. I'm gonna try my best to do this um, So we'll see but Let me let me get things going guys, and then I'll be I'll bring you guys back. Okay. I got to make some adjustments out here Sorry, but uh, I've been interrupted. We'll get back to you guys in a minute Okay guys, so as you can see It's pretty wet out here um, The storm did decide to go ahead and roll in and uh, you can see the lightning there um, but you know I'm I'm still gonna I'm still gonna barbecue guys doesn't matter so rain or no rain um, it's uh, it got a little wet under the porch here but it's okay I still got my barbecue pig gone uh, going so it should be okay um, but what I did want to tell you guys is that today we're gonna be making some fajitas now I made a video uh, this last video I made or yeah the last video that I made I think it was about me marinating fajitas but this time we bought some marinated fajitas and they're from a, a store called La Michoacana and now it's a Mexican carniceria store like a Mexican meat market uh, so I'm gonna show you those fajitas here in a bit and I want you guys in case you do have a meat market a Mexican meat market in your in your town check it out and see maybe if they have some fajitas like these that I got that are marinated already but I'm gonna show you them so you can see how they look that they're really good they're really good so but yeah we're gonna fight this storm off guys and we're still gonna cook no matter what we're still gonna roll we're still gonna eat it up and everything so but yeah let me get in the kitchen guys get things a little bit cleaned up and then uh, we'll we're gonna keep going guys we're gonna keep going Okay guys, so let me show you what's going on here, okay? Uh, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. Uh, we're gonna make some, uh, I got some potatoes here that I've had on. Uh, I've had them on, I think, for about a good hour and a half. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna give them another, about another hour and a half. Oh no, 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 about another, uh, I'm sorry. Maybe about another 30 minutes and I'm going to see how soft they are. Uh, we're going to do like some uh, potato shack type uh, fajita potatoes. It'll all come together guys once I sh once once you see it. But um, I did put those on about an hour, an hour and a 15 minutes ago, somewhere around there. So we're going to wait for those to get done. Um, I am going to put some sausage on here uh, in a few minutes and I'm going to let that roll for about 30 minutes. So... But I'm just showing you what's going on, and then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, guys. So, the storm did calm down. Uh, I'm out here uh, with, with with my barbecue pit. Um, it's it's doing what it's doing. Um, the storm already calmed down. I think it already kind of moved out. Uh, when I first started this vlog, man, the wind came in, and it started raining, as you can see in the previous clips that I've showed you. It was everywhere the porch didn't get too bad so it was okay it didn't affect the barbecue pit that much either um, the temperature stayed pretty much where I needed it to stay so it's all good 
But like I mentioned, um, these are some uh, the videos about some pre-marinated uh, fajitas that we bought at a store called La Michoacana, which is which is a, a Mexican store. And that's why I was gonna say, if you guys maybe have one in y'all's region, you should check it out and see. Um, I haven't quite showed you what the meat looks like, but coming up, I'm gonna show you what it looks like so you can see it. But um, like right now, what, what I just showed you, I got some potatoes on, and we're gonna got we're gonna have some sausage and everything, and man, it's gonna be good. But the video is about those fajitas, fajitas. So I need to show them to you guys here in a bit. So, but we're gonna keep rolling. The storm done passed through. Uh, I want to say it's about a good 60 degrees out here. It feels really, really good. So we're still going to have a good night. We're, we're having a good night. So, um, but yeah, I'll bring you guys back here in a bit. Okay, stick with me. Okay, guys. So as you can see, um, I got my condiments ready right here. I got my vegan vinegar hot sauce. I got some based... Uh, sour cream guacamole I got cut up radishes some serrano jalapenos onions and cilantro so that's what we got and uh, we're also making some fresh tortilla chips let me uh, bring those into focus yep so that's that's what we got guys so as you can see we're rolling so we're still good guys we're still good so I'll bring you guys back in. Okay, guys. So I done pulled the potatoes off. I done got them off. I got the sausage. I get. I got this sausage here. It's cheese and jalapeno inside. And I did grill some jalapenos here. You can see them right here. That's what I got going. Uh, so next, uh, I'm going to show you guys those fajitas, okay? So stick with me. Okay guys, so here's the uh, here's the beef fajitas. You see how red they are? They're marinated. And right here, the, it's the same marinade as the beef fajita skirt steak. Now, this comes from the Michoacana store, which is a Mexican uh, meat market. It's called the Michoacana. So maybe if you guys have a meat, a Mexican meat market in y'all's uh, city or region, maybe they'll have something similar to this. Now, I don't know what they put in there to make it turn that red, but it's really good if you guys don't want to just, if you guys just want to buy some meat and you want to buy it marinated, you can't go wrong with this. This is really, really good, guys. It's, it's a really awesome marinade. And... Um, We've bought it before, and I've never showed it to you, but I really wanted to show it to you guys. But look how nice and red that is. Look at that. And these right here, those are the English ribs. These right here. <laughs> those are English ribs. Man, they're so, so red and nice looking. And the aroma that's coming off these ribs, it is so good, guys. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, and uh, I'm going to start sticking them on my barbecue pit, guys. And we're gonna get this thing rolling, but I wanted to show it to you because, like I said, if you got that, if you got a mix, a Mexican meat market in your neighborhood, check to see if you got maybe some, some of these uh, uh, marinated uh, skirt steak fajita meat in your market, and see if they look similar to this. And if they do, pick them up, guys. You won't regret it. So, okay, guys. Well, uh, let me get out to that pit and. Uh, we're going to get things rolling. Okay, guys. So, I got my bulb onions here. I'm about to pull them off. And I got the fair, uh, the marinated fajita. And the uh, beef English ribs that are marinated too with the same seasoning. So, I'm going to go ahead and get it ready. I'm going to pull these bulb onions off. And, uh, man, we're going to get rolling, guys. Okay guys, so we got it on. We got it on the pit. So we're cooking it up. And look how nice that looks. Man, it looks really, really good guys. Okay guys, look how good that looks. 
Man, it looks so good. Look at that. Ooh. Mmm, that carne asada. Boy, that carne asada is looking so good, guys. Well, we're going to pull it off, guys, because we're about to eat it up. Look at that. Okay, guys. There it is. We got everything done. So, we're going to put it together. But I'm just showing you guys how it's going. Look, my dog, Arnie. Arnie. Even my dog's ready. But look. It's done and it's ready to go. So, we're going to put it together. And I'll bring you guys back. Alright, guys. There it is. Man. She loves mermaids. The potato. Man, we got the, the guacamole. The radishes right there. We got the boba onion. The jalapeno and cheese sausage. Cilantro, onion, jalapeno and serrano. And the potato is at the bottom, guys. It's at the bottom. Look at that. But we got everything here. Even my dog, he's, he's trying to eat it up. But man, we got everything, man. It's good. Look at that. Mmm. Oh my God. It came out so good, guys. Look. Look at that. Potatoes at the bottom. But it's all there. Mm. It's all there. So, uh, hey. Do it. Make sure you check out your local meat market. See if you got a Michoacana or some type of Mexican meat market that that serves that type of meat because man, it's is good. Some good. I'm I'm not saying it will be the same, but it may be. It may be the same. It may be the same uh, fajita marinade that we got here in our town. So. But check it out, guys, because it's some good stuff, man. It's some really good marinated beef skirt steak, and it's really good, and we're eating it. So, um, it's a little bit past 1 a.m. in the morning. I'm going to call it a night. I'm about to eat. My wife and son, they're eating already, and uh, it's my time to get it's my time to get to the table so I can eat, too. So, you know, but uh, guys, hit it up. It's some good fajita. And I hope that they have it in your town. Because I want you guys to try it. So uh, it may not be the same. But it's okay. It may not be the same. It's okay. It's okay. So, But I wanted to show it on this channel. I wanted to show it to you guys. So that you can see at least what we what we have here. So it's all good. But uh, alright guys. Well hope you have a good night. And uh, the storm has passed. It's gone away. And we're going to have a calm night tonight. So, all right, guys. Love you guys. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.